but that's all kind of crazy small, really small. Let's see if we can go a little bit bigger. If I could set you some homework, this is what I'd ask you to do. What I'd ask you to do is to go home, wait for the sun to go down, go outside, look up to the sky, and count the stars. That's it, it's as easy as that. It's not a very difficult homework, it's not a very short homework. Because if you could count them all, you would manage to count a hundred billion stars. Now what does that mean? That's another, just a crazy big number. hundred billion stars, six billion people. That's 16 each. So actually your homework tonight could be to go and count 16 stars. They're yours. There's enough to go round. Those 16 stars are only from our galaxy. It's called the Milky Way. If you start to use telescopes, the big powerful telescopes down in Hawaii, even the Hubble Space Telescope, what happens is that you start to see other galaxies. In fact, there's another 100 billion of them, each containing 100 billion stars. So in fact, for each one of you, there's not 16 stars, but for each one of you, there is about a trillion stars out in the universe. If I could take you on an amazing journey, what I would do is I would take you to the very edges of the observable universe. We'd go out there and we'd sort of turn and we'd look back and we'd see all of the galaxies and the stars out in the universe. But then we'd start to zoom back in and we'd find our solar system. We'd find our planet. We'd keep zooming, zooming, zooming in until in the end we could see those same little tiny particles that you're made of. 